Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are learning about Toymaline, Tour Maline, whatever. Tourmaline, known unpopularly as the garbage can of minerals, can form in igneous rocks such as granites and pegmatites, or metamorphic rocks such as schist and marble. The tourmaline group has a very complex chemical formula. As you can see, all the trash elements that the other minerals didn't want got put here. That is why it is called the garbage can of minerals. By the way, those aren't elements, the chemical formula keeps going, and gets worse. On a side note, I'm using the general formula from Mindat.org instead of the other general formula that is floating around, because V and W are elements on the periodic table and shouldn't be used as variables in a chemical formula. Poor form, people. Tourmaline is in the trigonal crystal system, hexagonal crystal family. These 3D graphics show the crystallographic forms of tourmaline. In both cases, when we look down the C-axis, they look like bloated triangles that ate too many Krispy Kremes. Some tourmaline is also pleochroic, causing deeper color in the C-axis and lighter coloring in side view. Now, being the trash bin for a plethora of other minerals isn't all bad. The eclectic mix of elements in tourmaline leads to a huge variety of colors and color combinations. It's as diverse as that rotting food experiment that has been sitting in your refrigerator for three months and has since grown multicolored fuzz and gained sentience. Since there are so many different varieties of tourmaline, I will cover a few of the major types in this video. Despite the array of color possibilities, the vast majority of tourmaline is black, like my soul. This tourmaline is called shoral, and makes up about 90-95% to of tourmaline that occurs in nature. Yes, I'm shoral about that. Uvite is an uncommon variety of tourmaline that can be green to reddish-brown in color. It can be mistaken for dravite, and the two can be difficult to tell apart, and can occur in the same environment. Dravite is often brown in color, and like uvite, normally occurs as short, stubby crystals. These two minerals are a prime example of why color is a terrible way to classify minerals. But now we're going to do it anyways because gemstones, that's why. Elbite accounts for the majority of tourmaline that is used in jewelry, and makes for some pretty gnarly mineral specimens. Indicolite is the blue variety and is also my favorite because it reminds us to recycle. Rubellite is the pink to red variety, acroite is colorless, and the green variety is called, well, just regular old elbite. Some elbite types, like Paraiba tourmaline, were named based on their locale, which is an even worse way to classify than color. Watermelone tourmaline, like the traditional watermelone, is best served by the slice. Liticodite is the calcium analog of elbite. It is also rarer and prized among collectors. It is often extremely colorful as well, and chemical analysis is required to tell it apart from elbite. It is named for Richard T. Lidicote, the father of modern gemology. Bergerite... Bergerite? Yeah, that's definitely it. Bergerite is a rare bronze to dark brown tourmaline that forms in rhyolite deposits. In 2011, it was renamed Florbergerite because of the presence of fluorine in the chemical analyses of the mineral. Either that or it was dropped on the floor. Did we really waste a burger for this? No, wait. Don't throw it away. I still want it. I, I don't care if it's face down in the trash now. I'm going to eat it. So let's take a step back and revel in the wisdom and beauty of tourmaline, which has proven that just because you're trash doesn't mean you can't do great things. It's called garbage can, not garbage cannot. 